Guys, today we're going to be talking about how to add a camera to your Audi. It could be an A5, A4, Q5 that doesn't have a camera. We're going to be talking about how to add the factory handle camera. So if we look here, all you need to look at is the handle itself. And you can see there's obviously no camera. So we're gonna replace that with a brand new handle that has the camera built in. Now these are designed to work with aftermarket systems. For example, in this vehicle, we are doing the 10.25 inch display. That video is in the top right hand corner. But we can also add a camera to a CarPlay interface. So if you wanna add a CarPlay to the original display, we've also got a video on, of that in the top right hand corner. If you wanna just add a camera to the factory screen and not worry about CarPlay and Android Auto, you can do that as well. And if you wanna do something like that, just jump on the website, www.shoptfb.com and we can help you out. But for now, let's get straight into fitting. First thing we wanna do is pop these two panels out. Then just pull out and down. That's gonna expose two Torx bits. And there's gonna be another couple of Torx bits underneath the hazard thingy. Okay, once you've got those screws removed, it's pretty much clips from there right in. So what I like to do is find a corner where you can get your hand underneath. Try to stay away from this sort of stuff here. I'm putting a lot of pressure on the glass. Obviously you know what will happen there. But if it's like this vehicle and it's very tight, you can get a panel on this side here between the body. Just pop it down a little bit. There we go. Just to start the removal process. And then you can slowly, slowly pop the whole thing in. Okay, it's gonna be a little closer right here. That one just pulls straight back. And then you can remove the panel. Just check all the clips. So make sure they've all come out. If there's any that have been uh, left in the body, just use some pliers, pop them out, and they just slide right into place. Next up, just pop this thing down. You don't need to remove it all the way. You can if you want, it just pulls out. This panel here, same thing. Clips, just pull back. So the clips are very tight. And just take note of this. So there's two here. There's one, two, three, four there. So when you're pulling, try to pull where the clip is. So you're not putting pressure on the flexi part of the panel, you're putting pressure where the clips are. All right, a couple more things to remove. This panel right here has two little clips that sort of hug around the body. So all you need to do is just pull back on it, just like that. Okay, so have a look. And the last one, Wash your hands before you touch any of these cream panels. Pull it straight off. So this panel here, you're just gonna sort of get underneath the rubber, pull it back and out. It's a little bit tight, but you can get it. There you go. This one's very easy to get out, but it's very tricky to put back in. So how you wanna do it is line all of the first clips up. Okay, so these have to go above the roof lining. So make sure that they all line up. Okay, and then you line these ones here up, and then you can push it back into place. Okay, so we'll do that after the job, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, next up we need to remove the handle. So we've got two 10 millimeters right here. And there's another two, which is what hold this thing in place. Same as the factory ones. They're right behind here. Okay, so they're both 10 millimeters as well. You can use a spanner and just crack them off. And then they're pretty much finger tied after that. Okay, then there's a little plug on the back with a little clip on it. I'm just gonna pull that clip back and remove the plug. The clip's on this side right here, as you can see. And then what you wanna do, be very careful here. We're gonna remove this whole bracket. And just get something in between. Pop it out. And just be careful you don't drop it. And then, from there... Okay, so we've now got it loose, but you might notice it doesn't want to pop out. On the side, there's two very small clips, which you're probably not going to see, but you can feel. And once you pop them in, press them in towards the handle. There we go. That's one. That's two. And that's it. You can remove the handle. Pretty much now, all you have to do is back engineer all of that. Pop this in, put the bracket back on, screw it up and then we can look at running cabling. The plug that you removed from the original handle is gonna go into the new handle. Okay, it's got a little clip as well, so make sure it goes in. Perfect. 
just in, you can hear that make sure it works. Yeah. Much better. There's a little housing here for if the car had a factory camera. So what we can do is run our new cables through that. Now the fun part. Okay, so with the wiring, you've got two parts, the video cable, and there's a little red cable coming off of that. It's gonna go right into here, so yellow to yellow, and then the power cable. So what I've done, separated the power cable, so that is ground, so that can go to a bolt, but we're not gonna connect the ground, because usually they just ground through the video, um, and actually grounding this can create interference. So first thing you wanna do is not ground it, see how it looks, if it's perfect, awesome. If not, you can ground it. So the red is going to go to the red on the RCA. Okay, so camera power, and this is just like a little extension. Take that up. So we've got the soldering iron on already, so we'll get this soldered up. And then this cable here that you're running to the front, we go all the way to the other end, there's a red cable. So whatever we give here, will end up here. And this is just gonna be power. So we're gonna go power from the front, video from your either display or CarPlay kit or a module or whatever you've got, and that's it. So we'll run that up, I'll show you how to run it, solder that, and we'll go to the next step. All right, so we've plugged the plugs in, soldered up that wire, I've left this fairly close to there in case we need to ground it, as I said before. All the looms are taped up in fabric tape, same as what Audi used from factory, um, and that's because we're gonna run this cable through the roof lining. So we want it to be taped up with the same tape that they've used so it prevents rattles and things like that. Two ways to run it to the front. You can go down underneath the body of the car or you can go through the roof. So if you've got fabric tape, run it through the roof. We have a yellow tongue here or a snake. So what we're gonna do, we've already removed the A-pillar. We've done plenty of videos on how to remove an A-pillar. They pretty much just pop straight out and up and remove any of the airbag covers to expose clips or screws. Now, you're basically gonna line that up and push it through and just keep going until you see it come to the other end. So I'll give that a shot now. So we had better luck running that from the front towards the back and it sort of went into that little area there. So I've just put my hand in there, fished the tongue out. Um, now when you tape the RCA to it, just tape the cable. So fold the cable and tape it up. Don't tape that because if it gets jammed on something, you'll probably damage this, at least if it's that way. You can play around with it. If it pulls through, awesome, we'll try that now. If not, we probably won't damage that. So we've run the cable through the roof lining to the A-pillar here with the factory loom. And we're just gonna run that loom down here underneath the glove box right to here. Okay, so it's gonna plug in there. And then we've got uh, our 12 volt power coming from our new harness right there. And that's pretty much all you need. When you pop the car into reverse, it will show you the camera image. So I'll get you a look at that. And then that is pretty much the job done. If there's anything here that doesn't make sense, just jump on the website, uh, go to the description, we'll have a link there and you can reach out to us. Okay, so we have no image now. We had image for a little bit and it's sort of coming and going. So what I'm gonna do is add that ground cable and watch what happens. Okay, ground cable added and boom. put it on the 10 mil and then we can finish up here and that's the camera done. All right, there we have it guys. Camera is on and working. So we have reverse camera on, out of reverse, out of the camera, pretty straightforward. That is the reverse camera done. If you have any questions about reverse cameras in Audis or any other cars, just jump on www.shoptfb, go to the contact page. You can reach us there. We have a phone number, contact form, whatever you need, and we can give you a hand. Thank you all so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.